Okay, today we're talking about multiplying polynomials. For reference in your book, it's section 7-7. If you still have questions, bring it on. Okay, now we've already learned how to multiply monomials. And we know that we multiply the constants first, and then we multiply the variables that have the same thing base. So let's do a few of these for practice. I've got two monomials. I'm going to multiply my constants first, or, or coefficients first. So that's 7 times 4 is going to give me 28. Then I'm going to do my variables that have the same base. Here's an x factor here and an x factor here. So I've got x to the third times x to the first power. It's going to give me x to the fourth power because I add the exponents. y to the fourth times y to the fifth is y to the ninth. Let's try another one. Let's do my constants first. I've got 4 times negative 6. That's going to give me negative 24. I have x to the first power times x to the third power, x to the fourth power. And I have y to the fifth power times y to the fifth power. Remember, I'm just adding my exponents, and I end up with y to the tenth power. Now, you try these yourself. Before you, um, if you're stuck on problem number five, I want you to think about what do you think the constant or the coefficient is for the first factor? Here we go. I see a negative sign there. I want you to think of that as a negative one. And what do you think the constant is for the next factor? One. I go for it. Okay. Now we're going to re refresh our memory about the distributive property. Here I'm distributing just a number to this polynomial that's inside the parentheses. In example number six, the polynomial inside the parentheses happens to be a linear binomial because there's two terms and the highest degree is of degree one. But we know how to distribute. It's I'm going to draw our arrows there, and we're going to rewrite this as 3x plus, don't forget your operation, because there's an operation inside that polynomial, plus uh, 3 times 7. So it's going to become 3x plus 21. So for problem number 7, I don't really have a number on the outside of those parentheses, do I? Ah, why don't you think of that negative as a negative? 1. Now let's distribute that negative 1 to the terms inside my polynomial. So I'm going to have negative 1 times negative 3x. Ooh, let's leave change, change this guy. Plus negative 1 times negative 8. And when I multiply, when I'm doing this monomial, I have negative 1 times negative 3. I'll do my constants first. So I'll end up with 3, and I'll do my variable, which is x. 3x plus 8. Let's try number 8. Have negative 5 times x squared. So it's going to be negative 5 times x squared plus negative 5 times 4x, which would be negative 20x, leave change, change, negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. Pause, and you try the next ones. Don't forget for number 9, that negative sign is really a negative 1 that you're going to distribute. Now, look at problem number 12. It looks basically the same as the ones that we've done, except for this monomial in the front actually has a variable as part of it. It's okay. We're still going to use the same process. So we're going to distribute this 3x. We're going to multiply each term inside my polynomial 
Let's leave T and change that. By 3x. So my first term is going to end up being 3x times x squared plus 3x times 2x plus 3x times negative 1. Now we know how to multiply. This is just multiplying monomials. So we're going to multiply our variables first. It's just a 3. And really, there's just a 1 for this x squared. So we'll get 3. And x to the first times x squared is x to the third power. Plus, let's do my constants first. I've got 6 to my x terms. That'll be x squared. Plus, let's do my constants first. That would become negative 3. And I just have that x. Negative 3x. And pause and you try the rest. Don't forget to leave change change inside your polynomials. Okay, I will see you at school.